Dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will be explaining about how to enable crossband repeater in Keno TS2000. This feature is available under the menu 61. We should go into the sub menu by pressing sub button. We will be able to see the mode select under 61A. Here you will be able to select different modes of the repeater by pressing plus and minus button. In this rig, it is disabled by the factory with default settings inside the rig. We need to change it by opening the rig and removing the jumper. So how to open it? We have to remove all the screws on the top and bottom of the rig as well as the handle. There are two screws on each side and six screws on the bottom and four on the top also we have to remove the handle which has two screws once you remove all these screws you should remove the top cover first and then we have to remove the bottom cover as you see in the video this is simple to remove once you remove all the screws it will easily come out from the rig once you remove the top and bottom cover the next is to remove the front panel from the rig the front panel is attached with two screws on each sides we have to remove these screws on each sides as you can see two on the right hand side and two on the left hand side these four screws we need to remove to detach the front panel from the rig we have to be careful while removing the front panel because there are cables attached from the panel to the rig the panel can be removed by sliding towards the front and pulling it out as you can see you should be very careful because there are wires connected so now we have the access to the area where we need to modify i will zoom to the area where we are interested here on the bottom left corner you will be able to see the provision for eight jumpers out of which one is populated you can see i'll try to zoom it better yeah here you can see the there is only one zero ohm resistor populated that is the one we need to remove to get the feature activated in our rig so let us get it removed this jumper can be removed by using a soldering iron heating both the sides gently two three times the resistor will come out the zero ohm resistor you can see once it is removed just clear the uh, the parts in case if uh, there are there is excess uh, lead and then we are okay to go with this condition the rig is enabled with the feature now let us assemble it back and do a full reset this can be achieved by pressing a equal to b button and press the power button and release the a equal to b only after the display is on and it will give you a prompt to press the a equal to b button again then it will reset the complete settings you have to 
update all your configuration once again but our feature will be activated by this let us go to the the menu 61a and see the repeater mode is active now let us go inside the sub menu 61a and press the plus button we will be able to see the repeater mode selection is active and also the crossband this is how we can enable the crossband in Kenu TS2000. If you like this video, please click the like button below. Also, please subscribe to my channel for new videos. Thank you for watching.